Joe, I watched a documentary today. You know how I love those fucking documentaries. Joe. You do, especially if they're I about movies. And especially if it's about making movies and the mm -hmm. passion for making movies. Movies with heart. So I watched uh, Zero Budget Heroes. There's some kind of like subtitle, The Story of Chris Seaver in Low Budget Pictures, something like that. Maybe. But yeah, I've heard about this one for about a year now. And just uh, out of the blue, I seen Chris make a post like, hey, this fucking L.A. Film Fest is showing the movie. And if you want to watch it, it's up for free to watch for the weekend. So I was just like, oh, shit. Good thing I woke up early. So I watched this fucking movie, and it is very good, Joe. Granted, I'm biased because I like the most of the movies that he made, and I helped him out by making some shit for a couple of his movies and shit. So granted, I am a little biased, but I mean, that aside, it was good. It's just fucking, you know, story of a bunch of friends and their leader just getting together to make the fucking kind of movies he wants to make and shit. There was, uh, I forget it, who, what the girl's name was, but it's kind of the goofy broad with the big glasses and all the tattoos. She was in a bunch of his movies. He, uh, she wasn't interviewed. Uh, the ex-wife that probably would have been a good interview to have. And, uh, it didn't really say like, what he did did for work or what he's doing now for work or anything because it said like yes yeah, don't make a lot of money off of this he was able to live off of this for a couple years but even then it was just like holy shit how the fuck were you able to live <laughs> off of that much fucking money so it would have been nice if they would have delved deeper like what he's doing for like i don't want to say actual work but how to survive and shit like that but besides those couple little nitpicks man everything was fucking it was good shit if you ever wanted to uh make a movie or you made a movie you're interested in making movies watch this shit i can't see anybody not being like yeah man i want to make a fucking movie or something like that now <laughs> granted this shit isn't for everybody that's for sure but uh Man, it was a really, really well-made documentary. And it's like, as most good documentaries have, it's not just all interviews. They'll cut to something. If, if Maybe it's pushing the narrative along and they're telling a story with a different animation or playing something out somehow. What the person's describing is they're talking, but not just sh showing the fucking interview. They'll take it a different route like... uh there's a part on there where he gets a call from the South Park guys. So it turns to like South Park style animation. And then there's claymation in the middle of it and some other animation. It's just a really, really good, well-made, put together documentary. Uh, I mean, if you're into that fucking movie making and shit like that, I would highly recommend checking it out. But you know, <laughs> others maybe. I uh, I just thought it was very, very well made and, you know, a subject matter that I was interested in and shit like that. So good shit, man. So far, 2023 has been pretty, pretty good. But I'll see how the fuck that goes. <laughs>